Welcome back to the Will Go channel. I'm your host and self-appointed Go Evangelist, James Story. Uh, today's uh, video is Quick Basics A1. We're going to look at a uh, shape that's called the Straight 3. It's a basic shape you need to know before we get started. If you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. You can contact us here. Also, we have a lot of playlists. Uh, if you're new to the World Go channel, we suggest lessons in a logical sequence because some lessons are based on the knowledge of previous lessons. So without further ado, let's get started. So what we have here is um, uh, a straight three. So here's what it looks like in the corner on the side and in the center of the board. It's called a straight three because it has, because it has three uh, internal liberties or three points within inside the group that are in a straight line. Uh, the vital point is right in the middle. So if black plays there, they get two eyes, one here and one here, and an eye, the concept of two eyes is to where one or more stones separates uh, internal liberties into one or more uh, separate groups. So here's a group and here's a group. If it was a really large group, you could have numerous eyes, but when you get a small group like this, you've got to uh, you just usually there's one or two vital points to play. So if black plays here, they're alive. If black plays here, they're alive. And if black plays here, they're alive. However, if it's white's turn, they're going to jump on the midpoint here. They're going to play where black plays. Lots of times in Go, your best, your best play and your opponent's best play are the same uh, point on the board. So if you can't figure out what to do, say, where would my opponent like to play? And then there's a good place to play. Uh, anyway, uh, the only way that black can save this group now is to surround these white stones and capture these white stones here. If black tries to do that, eventually white can throw in and say Atari. That means they can capture. Black takes. White can throw in again. It doesn't matter which one. Atari. Black captures. And then white can come back in and Atari all of these stones and capture them all. It doesn't violate the rule of Co because the board position keeps changing, right? So the board position was here and then here. Whoops. Here. And then here. Oops. Excuse me. There. <laughs> And then there. So the board position keeps changing. So once again, oops, we need a point there. Uh, black is alive. Black's dead. Black's alive. Black's dead. And black is alive. There. And black is dead. There. Now notice also, it could be that uh, not all the points are filled in around the group. This is still the vital point unless black can place the moves out here and make another eye. In this case, you know, even if they get to occupy all of these moves, all of these points in the board, they still don't make another eye, do they? They just occupy the points. Um, uh, white and white would probably come back in so that black couldn't play this at some point. And then if white got there first, black's dead. And if black gets there first, they're alive. So this is the straight three. Obviously, if this uh, doesn't have this foot on the ground here, it's not a straight three. And if black plays on what they think is the vital point, white can encroach around the edge and turn this into a non-eye. White could then play here, Atari, and capture if they needed to. Anyway, that's the straight three. Next, we'll look at the bent three. Thanks for watching the World Go channel. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.